dabbins. Okay. What happened? Let me let me just make that faster. And this is how it goes. Now what the problem is happening here, you know, the delay is quite faster here in the system. Okay. Now uh, we need to have some delay here. Let us put a delay. So which is equal to your processor. And then that is going to help us out make something better. Okay. So let me put a delay which is equal to the processor. So we do not keep on adding more and more parts like this. So I just make that a two minute. And I'm just adding that after an unload. Okay. And let me just make that so it works exactly like the top one onto the top. Now you see the list entries here, right? Now you can see the entries and here you see the rush order, right? Rush order one and others are zero, right? So in the descending order is what the priority is. Now if I just stop, if you, I'll just make this slowly. So if you see in this all list, the operator picked up the red part itself. It doesn't pick up the brown part. So if you want to create such a type of logic in your simulation environment, prioritizing the pickups, using process flows and list, you're going to use this logic. It's quite easy, quite dynamic, the same steps you can follow with some modifications and this is how your model should work, okay? And uh, this is how you can see the list entries here. We are pushing the things into the list. We are pulling the items from the list. Push to list, pull to list can be made this way. And you can put in the logics as mentioned here. So if you see the red color parts are taken on priority instead of brown parts, right? So if you notice, this is how this system is going to be working out there, right? And this is the beauty of this task logics using list part of this tutorial and in the last videos we looked into how we are going to create a process flow and create a task using list then we have also seen multiple uh, things into that and now we're going to add an additional task to this available process flow and let us see how it's going to see so what we're going to do is as you notice in the previous task every once in a while the task you don't pick up one of the rush order flow item in the queue. Now the problem is caused by the subtle timing issues where the rush order item arrived in the queue after the task executor already began the loading task and stuff like that. So what we want to do is we are going to add one more activity here and that is going to be travel back to the queue. Okay. So let us tell that to go back to the queue and probably that let us make that about delay. Right. Uh, let us make that about delay. Yeah. Here we have added a new task of traveling back. Right. Let me have this as auto incremented. Now, what we want to do is we are going to ask this person to go back and travel that, and let us see then how it is going to work. Right. Now let me reset and run. So they go back and wait there. So the timing is not wasted in these people. No, they stay here and once this is done, then they come here and then pick up. Rather than that, now they will be reaching out to this queue and waiting for the new parts to be picked up until our processor's task are done. Once the processor task is done, they'll immediately pick up the parts on priority and go and supply. So that is as easy in the process flow, you know, just to add activities into this. You see, just we added a travel and it's working fantastically great. That is the beauty of the process flow and this is the beauty of the dynamicity you bring in in the simulation modeling. Now, let us conclude uh, the uh, complete tutorial which we you know just looked into. We had uh, three parts already created on using list. If you haven't watched that, I'll request you to watch the videos created on this. So a task using list has already three parts. Uh, before this, this is our fourth part. And then in the next uh, thing, we are going to uh, have a new tutorial. We are going to understand about you know task using global list, and that is again going to be a best stuff. So stay tuned in order to watch that as well. So concluding this, what we are going to look at now that you we have built a transportation logic using the list in the process flow, right? Uh, you can see there are a few important things to note, right? So basically like you can sort and prioritize tasks, list, 
you can see we we sorted that right by making the rush order and stuff like that which can create more complex task and logic very easy so more complex like list can sometimes become little more complex to set up because you have to think more about how a logic would work in a deeper level there's more elements and the token flows that you can consider when setting up a list for example you have to think through the logics right uh, logistics of each event in the simulation what we causing which has to be pushed pulled and stuff like that you can also think more careful about the token in the process flow in the 3d model for example to do represent flow items or the task executed you can just see how the tokens are flowing might not always behave like you know you expected sometimes the timing of the events and the sequence of the task can affect the behavior of the operators in the way they don't expect however the process flows are fortunately fairly easy to troubleshoot fix as we rightly saw right we fixed it with uh, adding one more task we also fixed it by changing the delay time and uh, the operators were not putting all the parts continuously into this right so this is a great tutorial on uh, and a flexible simulation modeling creating task logic in list stay tuned with us in the next video we are going to look at uh, creating task using global list okay if you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe do share this with your friends do not forget to like our videos guys please do share your views in the comment section and like our videos because your likes shares and comments are going to really help you to algorithm to help us you know reach out to more people which can learn flex and simulation and the digital automation so that's all for today guys let's meet you another guy in the racing video on linsim core channel do not forget to visit our website linsimcore.com for more exciting education content bye bye for premium content do not forget to visit our website linsimcore.com where you will be getting all these premium contents available so talking about what what things you are going to get in you are going to get in you know simulation solutions you are going to get premium training classes for simulation stuffs you will be getting 3ds model file support you can buy modules you get access to simulation case studies you can visit our services also you can visit deep blogs which you're going to get so i was talking about simulation solutions right you can schedule one on one session with us you know for training and details you can access our digital assets like learning center okay so here comes you know the booking online environment talking about training classes you can access premium training classes once you are going to purchase our subscriptions you will be able to you know access our training classes which are listed out here and these are continuously getting upgraded guys talking about blogs here we bring in you know blogs from travel experiences health devotionals like industrial engineering personality development simulation tech and lot more interesting and exciting so do not forget to visit our website linsimcorp.com for premium content blogs and lots more